Hey YouTube, it's Lip Queen here. Just went in here today and I wanted to wish everyone a happy New Year's. I'm super excited for the brand new year and I wanted to start my year off with a Dollar Tree haul. So let's go ahead and get started. So um, my Dollar Tree that I like to go to um, has recently turned into a Dollar Tree Plus. So they have like two aisles secluded off that are just like... Um, it can range different prices. It's almost like when you go to Five Below, like the, th the items you would find there would be down them two aisles. So I went down there and I found this adorable little gnome. Um, he he uh, retailed for three dollars um, down one of them aisles, and he's so awesome. Look at him. He's holding like a little Valentine's Day card. It's just super cute. And I think it opens. Is it open? I thought maybe it would open. You could put a little card in it or something, but. Um, I think he's awesome, so I'm excited for that. And he has like the stuffing and bean like things in the bottom, so he sits up. I think that's really cool. And he was three dollars. Um, then I found this in just the normal um, Dollar Tree um, section, and this is their Valentine's Day um, gnome sign. I thought this one was super cute. They had it in red as well, but I thought the pink was prettier, so I thought that was super cute. And it does have the little string that you can hang it up. It's just super cute. Um, and then also some Valentine's Day stuff that I found. I found, so I can pick it up. I found these, um, what do they call these? Just decor. But you can use them for all sorts of things. Um, I'm going to use them just for decoration in the house. But um, this one says be mine. It's like little wooden beads. So I picked that one up. And I also picked up the one that says hugs. I just love the way it looks. It's just really nice. So. I do plan on decorating with them. And then the last um, um, decor piece I picked up was this little sign that says love. And it's got like the, um, what do you call that? It's got like the metal and wood. I forget what they call that um, metal, but um, I did get that. I thought that was super cute and that was a dollar. Then I went down the body care aisle and I picked up some of the uh, Tom's um, pre um, prebiotic um, moisturizing hand soap. This one's in peppermint. It's a good size and it's a name brand um, and it has the little pump. It is a uh, 12 ounce um, container and this one's in fresh apple. So I picked those up while I saw them. And then I came across these and they only had like a few on the shelf so I know that they're going to go quick. Um, these are the Global Beauty Care um, Exfoliating Lip Scrub and the Replenishing Lip Mask. I thought I would give these a try. I tried the lip scrub they had last time, the pink one. I just was not a huge fan of it because it was just something weird about the flavor that it would leave on your lips. But um, I'm going to give this a shot. This one is the Gummy Bear um, Lip Scrub. So I'm excited to try this out. And the Global Beauty brand is um, considered um, not tested on animals and all that. Um, and it says it has a pH balance, it's paraben free, um, it's for all skin types um, and natural exfoliants. And it is cruelty free on the back if you can see that. I don't know if you'll see that little bunny right there or not. It's really reflective. Probably not. I'm trying to show you some that's reflecting, so it's not working. But it is a cruelty-free brand. I'm excited for those. And I don't know what the lip scrub... Oh, it's cotton candy. Not the lip scrub, but the lip mask. It's a cotton candy. So I'm excited to try those. Then I picked up some eyebrow razors. I thought these would be nice to have. These also can help uh, remove uh, peach fuzz, like, you know, if you get on your face and stuff like that. Um, so these are good to keep on hand. So I did pick those up while my store actually had them. Um, I picked up another one of these um, Skin Nutrition. Is that what it is? Yeah, Skin Nutrition um, Age to Five Dark Circle and Puffiness Serum Eye Roller. These are fantastic. I always try to pick up one of these when I actually see them in my store. And I picked up one in my last haul, which I've been using faithfully every night and morning. And I love the outcome that you get from this. It's just such a fantastic look. And your eyes don't look puffy in the mornings when you use it. It just really helps. And um, it's very um, refreshing under the eye. So I definitely picked up an extra to have as a backup. 
um, I did pick up a package of the Curad um, extra large plastic band-aids. They get 10 in a box. I picked these up because these are good to keep in your first aid kit. And I feel like whenever you get cut and those little band-aids don't cover it, these are always good to have. So I always try to keep these um, in my first aid kit. And I also picked up some extra thermometers because it's that time of year where a lot of people are getting sick and it's just good to have extra thermometers on hand because, you know, if one one dies on you, then you're you're just in a pickle, right? You need you need more. So it's good to have these ones, especially these cheap ones you can just throw away if you really do get sick and you don't want to keep the thermometer around. I picked up three of these. They are the 60-second thermometers, digital thermometers, and... I try to always pick some like these up just to have the way you can use them and like I said if you are super sick and you don't feel like keeping these after that you can just toss them it's not a big deal but um, I did pick up three of those and then the last um, thing I picked up was a thing of wrapping paper because I have a gift I got to wrap soon uh, for an upcoming birthday and I definitely needed some birthday paper so I definitely picked that up and I just want to get here today shares with you guys um I might actually open these up real quick and let you guys know the scent of these that way you guys will know and hopefully you can find these in your store because like I said they had um, a little display box that had these in it and there was only like maybe two of each one left and there were people down the aisle and I think they may have grabbed them after I left. I just grabbed the one that I, I wanted for each one to try them. So this is the cotton candy um, lip mask. It does come with a little applicator that you can apply the product with. Um, it does have a sweet scent but I wouldn't say it's cotton candy. I will just try a little bit on my lip, just the mask. Um, I don't really know how I feel about that. It's, um, it's very, um, liquidy. Um, like, it looks thick in the jar, but it's, um, when you go to apply it on your lips, it's very wet. Um, it's not thick like a normal lip mask. And if you go to lick your lips, you don't get a cotton candy scent or flavor. It's pretty much just like a a sweetness and then nothing. So if you're looking for this to get it for cotton candy and you think it's going to be like a thick lip mask, it's not a thick lip mask of what I've just tried. It's very watery. Um, looks thick in the actual tube, but when you go to touch it, it goes like jelly-like and then it's wet. Yeah. I mean, I'll use this, but I don't know if it's something I need to ever repurchase because I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it, but let's see how the actual gummy bear lip scrub is, if it has a good scent or not. thought I'd let you guys know before you go waste your money, right? If it's good or bad. Let's see. Okay, so this is the blue one and the gummy bear, and this is the lip scrub. So it does have like that little swirl in it um it doesn't smell sweet i will put just a little bit on my lip not much so this is definitely thicker and it does feel like an actual lip scrub i'll put just a little bit on my lips Um, I don't know guys. I don't know if I'd waste my money. I'm letting you guys know this now before you go buy it. It doesn't smell like gummy bears. And if you go to lick your lips, it's, um, like to lick it off or wipe it off, whatever you do. Um, it's like a bitterness. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about any of this. This might be something I might use at night before bed, um, just to exfoliate my lips. But, um, I don't know. If you're looking for a gummy bear flavor... Uh, for a lip scrub and a cotton candy flavor for the lip mask, you're not going to get it. So, I just wanted to let you guys know that. It's kind of a letdown. I hate that. Um, but I did want to let you guys know that. In case you were going to pick it up for a gift for somebody or um, maybe for yourself. Just to let you guys know that, um, yeah, it gets a really bad bitter flavor on your lips. It's kind of like the pink lip scrub from before. Like, I think they did last, yeah, this year, earlier this year. 
last year yeah last year I'm getting confused um it was like a bitter it it looked it looked nice it felt nice and it exfoliated really well but it left like a bitterness on your on your tongue it was really weird if you go to lick your lip for anything so that's your call if you want to get that or not um like i said the package is cute though i do they do get you for the package and it's super cute and I will be using these products um, just to use them up. I'm not going to waste them. But um, I did want to let you guys know that. Um, that way, if you're looking for it, you're just at your Dollar Tree and you can't find it, you're maybe frustrated with it, just to let you know, you might want to pass on it if you do find it. Um, cotton candy. is cotton candy and collagen replenishing lip mask. I just feel like a lip mask would be more um, thicker and more like kind of moisturizing to your lip. This is just like water. It says this mask is formulated to moisturize and promote smoother plumper looking lips i don't know how it says apply a generous layer to lips to moisturize and repair overnight i don't know guys i just i wouldn't waste my money <laughs> i mean i wasted mine but you don't waste yours um but uh let's see if it says anything else on the box for the lip scrub I'll be honest, I enjoy the lip scrub more than I do the actual lip mask. Because the lip mask is so, such a weird consistency. Um, and the gummy bear one, the actual lip scrub does not uh, smell like gummy bears. It doesn't smell like what you think it would. Um, it really doesn't even have a scent. Um, but uh, it does exfoliate. It does exfoliate if that's what you're looking for. Just exfoliating lip scrub, you got it. But... Um, just wanted to let you guys know that. That way you guys would know before you buy it. Um, if you do decide to buy it or not buy it. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know in advance. I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. And Happy New Year. Like I said before, I'm super excited for the brand new year. And I hope you guys have a blessed New Year's Day. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.